Wright's Quarry have been involved in the manufacture of concrete products in Monaghan since 1975 and since they extended their product range to include concrete flooring in 2001, they developed this state-of-the-art facility in RD in 2005. Time. Wright's decision to target the residential market was more to do with the product they had in mind rather than the draw of a rapidly growing market. Concrete flooring upstairs had long been desired by anyone wanting to protect their families in the event of fire or those who just want a bit of peace and quiet from the rest of the family. The traditional pre-stressed concrete floor was available but builders tended to stay with what they were familiar with, that is timber joists. Wright's new floor slab, marketed as Spanright Flooring, came about following a trip to Central Europe, where upstairs concrete flooring in private homes is much more common. This encouraged the development of more appropriate flooring products, which Wright's now bring to the Irish market. But what are the advantages of using Spanright? It has become apparent to architects and developers alike over the past five years uh, that concrete is a better build. What appeals to myself about Spanrite is its accessibility and speed. Um, when the build is at sill level, a member of Spanrite arrives on site, measures for the slabs, um, slabs arrive a week later. At this stage the build is at first floor level, slabs are put down um, and the build continues. Uh, this way money and time is saved. Now in private housing, the, the domestic houses, you're bringing this uh, extra fire safety into the domestic situation by providing concrete slab floors because the timber floors, the timber joists and bound and grooved flooring uh, give an extra fire load in the house. The, the concrete slab is non-combustible whereas the timber flooring is combustible so you're reducing the fire load. Also you, you, you get a better a seal between the, f the, f the ground floor and the first floor with the concrete slab because the, you won't have the same leakage of uh, say a fire occurring down in the living room. You won't have the same smoke leakage and heat leakage through the concrete floor as you would have through uh, the conventional timber floor. The homeowner will be the big winner here. Better fire and sound protection are the obvious advantages but there are others. Concrete is more durable than timber, and as concrete increases thermal mass, it can contribute to the overall energy efficiency of the house. As concrete stores heat, it not only provides a more comfortable environment in the wintertime, but also during the hot spells in summer. This makes the house a very good investment in the short and long term. Providing a good solid concrete home that will stand the test of time is not only a good thing from the builder or developer's perspective, as there are other advantages to using the product. I've been dealing with rights for the last 25 years now and their service and attention to detail has always been excellent. I was uh, one of the first customers to use the new span right floor on another house development that I was doing. And I found a great system that saves me time during construction and uh, provides a better and safer platform for walking off. What gives me more satisfaction though is the fact that I am supplying a good, safe and quiet house for people to, to live in and they are all very happy with them. I would never go back to using timber joists again. A good working platform is provided as part of the system, making life easier and safer for the block layers and scaffolding erectors. Speed is a deciding factor. As a large number of every slab size is held in stock, a quick, consistent and efficient response will be possible. And good weather is not a requirement. A complete floor can be fitted in an hour and a half. The Spanrite slab has a significant advantage over other pre-stressed slabs. For example, it's only half the width at 600 millimetres. It's much lighter and easier to handle and can be placed using truck mounted cranes. It's flat with no camber, so it's easier to finish top and bottom. You can even plaster direct to the underside and eliminate the need to use plaster slabs. Specially designed timbers can be installed between the slabs to facilitate the easy attachment of timber battens underneath. 
Whether you want to run your services on top or underneath will determine how you go about finishing your ceilings and floors. There's a range of options for the finished floor. A concrete screed is quite common, especially where underfloor heating is being used. You can also lay a timber floor using battens. A specially designed rubber saddle can save time and will reduce the amount of impact transfer using a floating floor. An increase in popularity for non-covered timber floors upstairs has led to more sound transfer when joists are used. The use of concrete counteracts this, providing the best of both worlds. When you request a quote, Wright's experienced technical team will examine your plans and suggest a suitable layout for the flooring slabs, taking into account specific load requirements and any other relevant information that is supplied with the drawings. They will look to alternate the span direction so as to allow the slabs to rest on a standard 4-inch block, and only in some cases will a thicker wall or steel shelf be used. The slabs may also be cantilevered. Block partition walls upstairs are now becoming more popular, as people realise the benefits the technical team of rights can accommodate this. Measuring usually involves a site visit by another member of the technical team and this can only take place once building of all internal walls has commenced. At that stage, a delivery date can be arranged, typically in or around 7 to 10 working days. Once the slabs have been placed, they should be propped and grouted. This can take place immediately after they've been put in position and building can recommence the following day. With the rising cost and decreasing availability of new stone, quality fill and labour, many house builders are using precast concrete floor slabs to form their ground floor. This can result in substantial savings in both time and money. Building authorities and other supervising building practices will often recommend some sort of a reinforced concrete flooring, where the ground is soft or sloping or needs a lot of fill, as failure to achieve proper compaction could lead to sinking floors. Using Spanrite flooring could save a considerable amount of time on the traditional pouring concrete system. Slabs are held in stock, reducing delay, and you shouldn't be hampered by adverse weather conditions. It may also be possible to reduce the number of walls being brought up from foundation level, as the flooring may allow the carrying of some non-load bearing, and hence facilitate a spine wall system. Well now you've seen and heard from the experts the advantages of using Spanrite flooring slabs. Now it's just time for me to sit back and relax in a warm, safe and durable concrete home.